Oh, it's time for another math easy solution. We're going to discuss another GIMP 2.0 Photoshop tutorial. Look at uh, rounding text edges with the Gaussian blur function. Um, so basically, what I mean is, if you have text like let's say M, and it's you have some, some font like this, and it's all sharp edges, and you want to just round these edges off of the same without any change font or anything, so you'll get it's like so everything will be rounded off. So it looks something like that, and we'll use the Gaussian blur. So I'll show you what this is. Let's just go to, um, let's open the GIMP. Okay, let's, let's create a new file. We'll just standard one, okay, just whatever this is. Here, we'll, we'll just write some text out here. Okay, let's write math. Math easy solutions, I guess. Close this. And let's just make the size bigger. So change the font. It's this one. It's bigger. Okay. It's bigger just so it's easier for you guys to see. Okay, let's just scroll this down. Okay, so we got this. The uh, edges are all. Yeah, they're all sharp, and but we want to round it up. So what we do is go to filters, go to blur. So we're going to use this Gaussian blur, and I'll show you what this does. So basically, this is the Gaussian blur. What this is, uh, so this is a preview of it, how it looks up there. And basically, what it is, you could change text uh, the size here. You can make it smaller check size and whatnot, large. But uh, anyway, so this is how it kind of looks like. It blurs everything. So and you could change the blur radius, which is just how much. What it does is goes into each each pixel and then makes a radius of let's say seven pixels horizontal or whatever, and and then it takes an average of all the pixels, all the the, the colors or whatever whatnot. So it it becomes a blur. So you can increase the blur here. See how it looks like? Oh, that's completely blurred out. And these IR and RLE values. This one is. This one's apparently the IR. So just drag this in here. So this is basically what the Gaussian blur does. So you have something like this. It just blurs everything. And then if you scroll down, it basically uh, yeah the I IR is infinite impulse response. It's good for uh, regular images with that that are not computer generated. And yeah, and uh, that have large radius values. So if you're using large radius value to blur, then you would you could use that apparently. Or RLE uh, run length. This one is more for computer generated stuff. But yeah, so that's basically how it looks like. So let's um, let's go with something. Let's go with let's say f seven or whatnot. So we have seven like this. Uh, what we could do, do now is we could even do it consistently. Let's go seven again. So just make it even rounder, but without too much blur, so we don't increase the blur value. We just do this repeat this so yeah this one looks uh let's go but one more gaussian blur um let's go one more seven okay so we got to look like this so it's all over the place but so but we it's it's rounded but it's just too blurry so what you could do here is you could duplicate here so you just go duplicate layer du duplicate layer duplicate layer yeah actually uh yeah this one's a bit too um yeah so it's rounded but we added too much of the stuff. We'll just undo all this. So we'll just undo the blurring. Let's go here. I just I'm just pressing Control Z. So now let's duplicate this. How would this look like? Yeah. So you keep duplicating so that it it overlays on top of it. And um, yeah. So because it's transparent, these layers. But so then, like a, only the stuff that can show goes through. So then now if we just merge it down, so it looks, this looks nice. Merge down, merge down. So now we're just merging it all into one layer. So there, there you go. There's math easy. It's rounded now. And that's uh, compared to the other one, which wasn't rounded. But yeah, so that's, uh, that's all for today. Hopefully uh, you learned about the Gaussian blur and, and how you can blur things out. And also this duplicating uh, little trick here. Duplicate and then and then add right on top of it. Well, thanks for uh, watching and um, stay tuned for another math easy solutions.